once again to deep dive into Mythic Legions with another one, Azeroth. At least that's how I hear it pronounced. Basically, I wanted an evil spellcaster. This guy fits the bill. I mean, he's a guy in black robes and long beard, looks the part. Now, I heard somebody say he looked like a hobo, and I'm like, yo, evil spellcaster. Looks like a hobo. That's what they're supposed to look like. So, I mean, he does fit the parts. So, anyway, um, there you see stuff on the back. There's a write-up on him that I can't read because I'm old, and that writing is too damn small. Guys, get with it. Um, that's... Poxus there and I just think he looks goofy so I didn't even bother looking at that guy at all and uh, well we'll get down to it and crack him open and see what there is to see I can see some interesting effects behind him so that's a plus all right hold on okay I just finished the heating up portion and uh, tested his joints he's good a little nervous uh, I've heard a few things about the last two figures I've got so a little nervous with these but here he is and he's just awesome looking spellcaster uh, the bendy wire cape the bendy wire robe is a lot better than uh, the previous ones I've been dealing with and you can do quite a bit with them it's not as robust of a bendy wire as a uh, Mofex, but it's there and it works. Um, it's pretty effective. Oops, you know, I was testing his um, joints there. Let me just get everything straight on him, at least as straight as I can. <laughs> yeah, all right. So he is loaded with, well, I don't want to say loaded, but he's got a pretty good amount of accessories. He's got this staff, which I really dig this staff this staff looks wicked the only thing i don't like is this here at the top i mean yeah i get why it's there but it's part of the storyline blah blah but you know it's it still bugs me he's got this much more expressive face looks like he's angrily casting um i like that too uh the rest had an own tray which is cool um and i'll go over them in just a second okay now the rest uh he's got two lightning effects both are red both look really freaking cool um he's got some more expressive hands for spell casting which are cool uh he's got some hands that go hinging up and down rather than back and forth like that he's got some spell components uh here here And here that can clip on his belt really deep <laughs> he's got some decent stuff man um, and he's got this little bit of ornamentation which I when I first saw it I was like eh, I don't know and then after I got kind of got looking at it, I was like well, maybe maybe um, so I want to test something out real quick um, all right so underneath by the way I'm not gonna take his robe off by the way uh, underneath is you know there's not much detail at all which is fine because you know who's gonna take the robe off anyway this belt is pretty cool but it keeps coming off and it's driving me crazy so there's that a uh, bit of a knock there uh, but you know it's easy enough to put back on but it won't stay on all right so I see people wrapping the longer lightning around his staff. I'm just wondering about, you know, can we just put it in his hand and, yeah, just, yeah, put him in his hand and there you go. Of course, get one of the more expressive hands to do that with. But yeah, a much longer lightning bolt. That's what I would want. Because, you know, reasons. <laughs> you know, lightning bolts need to be long <laughs> that's what she said all right um so i gotta say i think this one is really cool i do like this design here on the 
front. A little minimalist on the road, but that's okay. Um, he really puts me in the mind. You know, I get a real vibe of, and I doubt anyone knows what I'm talking about, the Red Wizards of Thay. Um, yeah, they were the bad guys in the Forgotten Realms world, but they had a whole, they had a whole country. Um, and they were, oh my God, justice. They were really, you know, they were cool bad guys. Um, but they were evil wizards and they wore red robes. And, you know, minus the red robe, because you can't do that, this guy kind of puts me in the mind of them. Or some of the stereotypical ones I've seen. You know. But yeah, that's... It's pretty freaking rad, man. I like him. <laughs> so. I think... If the wire was a bit ro more robust, that's that's one one major failing. Um, it's good, don't get me wrong, but it needs to be more robust to kind of hold the shape better. I will say his hands grasp his hand grasps the staff a little easier than a lot of the weapons I've had to deal with, so that works too all right come on okay don't fall over don't fall over yeah don't fall over there we go oh yeah let's move in closer for the thumbnail <laughs> now the one downside is this big long one yeah it does I could have him grasp it there couldn't I yeah let me see if that gives it a little bit more yep So, I will say, really, honestly, this is a lot better than a lot of the Mythic Legions I've had my hands on so far. This is, oh, dude, you're leaning on the camera. That's kind of funny. This is pretty, really, really cool. This is, uh, this is right up my alley. This is the kind of shit I would want out of a toy line like this um <clears throat> okay let me fix his robe just stand up man all right there we go eh. I want to go up, be shooting off to the side come on come on work almost there <laughs> wasting all this time trying to get this to look a certain way I'm telling you <sighs> okay there we go that's perfect love it yeah that's the picture I want uh, <laughs> he's cool though I mean he's uh, he's kind of cool um, I dig him I mean, he's got enough going on that he's not too flashy, but you can look at him instantly and tell what he's supposed to be. And that's pretty awesome. Uh, that You know, <laughs> so many times in so many lines like this, you kind of look at him and go, what? This is the kind of sort of very basic, you know, idea I, I was talking about. And I like that, you know, the red eyes and the sort of devilish... Uh, devilish eyebrows that are pointed up you know that's kind of cool um, somebody I, I believe I said it in the intro somebody said he looks like a hobo I'm like dude he's an evil wizard what do you expect I mean come on okay and I had to take him off camera I added in the uh, it's not really armor it's like a headdress I think or a shoulder dress something it looks okay on him when he's just standing still, but you do in a pose like this, it starts moving up and getting in the way. I like the screaming head, um, and I don't know if you really noticed it or not because I moved the camera, but uh, his eyes are completely red in that. 
he does not like to stand. He simply does not like to stand. Um, he keeps tipping over all the time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised by this one. This is really good. I really like it. It's exactly what I was aiming for. I, I wanted an evil spellcaster, an evil wizard that was just looked, he looked formidable, but he didn't look like a total badass. I will say that swapping heads is the easiest head swaps I've ever done. So that's cool. Um, and I'm surprised the range I get for just being a simple ball joint. Um, you know, even still. Uh, you know, I am impressed. I mean, this, I get the hi I get some of the hype. This helps me understand the hype. Because this is really, really cool. Oops, <laughs> I just took his head off by accident. I am going to remove this this armor bit because this uh, headdress bit because it's just a little laborious to deal with. Um, yeah, and his spell components. I'll put them on in a bit, but these are nifty. I mean, you know, he's got his potions. I think these are supposed to be bones or maybe plants don't know uh, put them over here oh shit oh shit the carpet monster got it that's okay I will find it later and then uh of course crow's head looks like crow's head to me I'm gonna say it's crow's head that's a decent spell component right <laughs> okay Okay, dude, stand, stand. Lord, stand. All right, there we go. As I go hunting for what the carpet monster just ate. So after a bit of a search, um, whatever it is, is uh, in the carpet. I will dig it out eventually. Uh, but for right now, it's disappeared. <laughs> okay, so for Azarek though, I like it. I like it a lot. He's got a cool look to him, purple hood, this cool staff, the lightning, I mean the lightning. I, I always, one thing I always loved in D&D was uh, having, I would have my wizards find ways to make the lightning different colors so that it would freak people out. I mean, it didn't do anything different, it was just different color. Red is a perfect color for that. Um, <clears throat> okay, elephant in the room. That price. Uh, I mean, I, I, I hate. I know somebody's gonna at me because they at me added me about um, our good buddy um, Dimitros yesterday or today. Um, yeah, I'm filming this right now, right after Dimitros, and you know. I don't get the price right or something because, you know, they tried to make me look bad or something like that. I don't know what the hell the deal was. Anyway, um, the price tag is a little high. I gotta say it. I mean, this is not $50 worth. I mean, and I'm struggling with that because, you know, it's cool. It's really cool. That price point is a struggling matter, and I know, I know, and I'm going to talk about this on the final video, but, you know, right now, if you want it, you got to pay 50 bucks, so, and that's what I had to pay, and I like it so much. I debated the good wizard, I for, or the good wizard that looks like he's good, I forgot his name, <laughs> and, you know, I finally just decided, nah. I'm gonna hold on that one just a little bit and um, maybe not even get him I definitely wanted an evil wizard and that's what I got and I'm, I do like him I like him a great deal I can't say bad things about him you know besides the price point 
price point is just too much. And I know some people say, you can't discuss that. Yes, I can. If that's the retail price and the retail price is too high, I can damn well discuss it. Because, you know, it's a factor in the buying. Is how much are these things worth versus how much they cost. Now this I could easily go for $37. Yeah, that would be the perfect price. And I know what you're going to say. Well, if you pre-ordered. Well, you know what? I didn't. And I don't understand why they say, well, if you retailers going to sell it, you're going to sell it for 50. But if we sell it, we're going to sell it for 37. They're not getting, they're not giving those away. All right. Um, they're making money off them. So, you know, again, something don't jive. I'm going to be honest about it because that's weird. Um, but I think I do like them. I like them a lot. So that's my thoughts on Azarak, or however you pronounce his name. The next one, mm, the next ones I'm nervous about. And a lot will come out of that. But for now, I'll wrap this up and say thank you for watching and don't forget to do all the YouTube stuffs.